Hi everyone, welcome back to Those Who Aren't Strangers Around Here, and to those who are new, I'm Anastasia. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Now there's something about having citrus during the summer. You want a slice of lemon in your water, you want fresh orange in your sangria. When it comes to desserts, I love tiny lemon bars. So that's what we're going to make today. But we're going to make a healthier version of them using a bunch of different substitutes that I'll share you. Now they're 125 calories each, which is nothing in comparison to other desserts. And they are delicious. So let me show you how to make them. So these are the ingredients that I'm working with today. Now lemon bars have got two steps to them. The first is baking the crust, and secondly you gotta do the lemon filling. So for the crust, you need 120 grams of plain white flour. Then you need butter. Now I personally don't buy unsalted butter, and I don't think many people do unless you're a baker. So you can use coconut oil, of course, but you need about 70 grams of butter. I'm using slightly salted, so there's not going to be extra salt in this recipe. And you need 100 grams of honey. Now, I'm using honey instead of sugar, but what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to use half of this. I'm going to use 50 grams of honey and 50 milliliters of this salted caramel skinny syrup. It's got zero calories and zero sugar. You can buy them in TK Maxx. They're about four pound or four euro each. And I think the fact that it's salted caramel will give it another layer of flavor in the crust and also it will reduce the amount of sugar and calories that we're having. Now for the lemon filling, we need three large eggs. You can use plain non-fat Greek yogurt, but I'm going to use this vanilla protein yogurt as a substitute because it's got low sugar, it's fat free, and it's high in protein. Also, you're supposed to use vanilla extract in this recipe and I don't have any left because I've been baking so much so vanilla yogurt it is. Of course these are lemon bar recipes so we need three lemons. Um, you can use two large ones instead I just like my lemon bars super tangy and these seem a little small to me so I'm gonna use three. And I spoke about food waste before so don't throw away the peels afterwards because you can do so much with them like candy them, or even use them for zesting, brightening up some of your meals, so just keep that in mind. And we need two more extra tablespoons of just plain flour. So that's all the ingredients, let's get baking. Also, remember that you don't need weighing scales to bake. You can actually convert everything to tablespoons online, which was how I measured everything before I got my weighing scales. The main thing is that you have the correct ratio of all ingredients. Okay, everyone, so you know the drill by this stage. First thing that I always do is line my baking tray. Now, I do leave a little bit sticking out on the sides just so you can pull them out afterwards. And make sure you have all the edges as well. And what I'm gonna do is use my one calorie spray to spray it just so nothing sticks. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is pour in 70 grams of my slightly salted butter, pour in my flour, 120 grams of that. I'm going to use half of the honey, like I said earlier. And I'm also just going to, I'm actually not going to measure this out, I'm just going to, oh, I have to open it, <laughs> pour in a bit until I get the right texture and just give this all a mix. So that actually took pretty quickly. Um, it's quite stiff. I just gave it a bit of a taste and it tastes great. So now what you want to do is put it into our lined tray so we can bake it. And you just need to flatten this out and create a thin crust at the bottom. Okay, and just try to push it into the corners and make it look pretty. Nice and flat. 
What I'm also going to do to it is just stab it with a fork just to give it some air so it can breathe in the oven. And we're going to put this in at 200 degrees for about 20 minutes or until it gets golden brown. Okay, so whilst that's baking away, let's start on the filling. So I'm going to squeeze all my lemons first, just in case I get some pips in there. Now one way to prevent this is by doing it in your hand, and then you can actually just catch the pips, but the juice will still go through your hand. I've just juiced all three lemons and as I mentioned before don't throw these peels away try and repurpose them put them in a glass of water the next thing I'm adding is my protein yogurt to ensure that these lemon bars are nice and creamy you can even add lemon flavored yogurt if you wanted to next you want to add three large eggs and don't forget to crack it on a flat surface Next, add 100 grams of honey. Okay, now you're going to combine all of the lemon filling ingredients. And remember, the smoother it is, the more satisfying. This is just a reminder to take your crust out of the oven. I can see mine is starting to have brown edges and it's about halfway cooked. Now we just need to let it cool down. And the last step for the lemon filling is to add two tablespoons of flour to thicken it up a bit. So once your crust has slightly cooled, what you want to do is pour all of this right on top of it and put it in to bake for about 25 minutes or until you can tell it's cooked through. Okay, so mine was in the oven for about 22 minutes. I saw that it was starting to get dark brown around the sides and I pulled it out. Now, it's been cooling for about 10 minutes and when I touch it, it's not runny, it's fully set, but the longer you leave it, the better, trust me. Remember I told you to leave a bit of tin foil sticking out? This is why. You can just pick it up and transfer it elsewhere. I'm just going to let it cool here because it'll cool faster and I'm super impatient. And I'm going to try really hard not to pull down these sheets. I'll see you in about 20 minutes for the cutting. So here it is up close. I love the ratio of filling to crust. It still looks gooey but set enough that it's not running all over your hands. And it actually looks so good. Can't wait to try them. Look at these bad boys. They look so good. Would you believe me if I told you that I don't even have a sieve? So I'm just gonna try and sprinkle a bit of icing sugar on top. I cannot wait to dig into them. Okay, I'm ready for the taste test. They are so good. You have to try these, honestly. They are going to get devoured so quickly. 127 calories a pop. You have to try these. When you recreate these, make sure to tag my Instagram account, The Russian Twist. If you're not already following it, go check it out. Make sure you subscribe. And if you like this recipe, give this a thumbs up. Thank you to everyone who watched this video. Now, the reason that I make healthier versions of all these baked goods is so that you can have a treat or a little after dinner dessert and still progress on your weight loss journey. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Let me know in the comments below what recipe you want to see next. 
Have a great day and I'll see you all soon.